one. So if you want to know more about the cost of living here in Poland, probably in any of the cities, and you're looking at the possibility of getting a job as a student, then this video is for you. Kindly stay tuned. Hello everyone, so in this episode we will be talking about the cost of living and getting a job as a student. Is it possible for you to get a job? How easy it is? And what are you probably going to spend while living in Poland? So this was a request made by one of my subscribers and that is why I'm making this video. To start with, let's start with the cost of living. Yes, so probably the cost of living which will be considering for this video, I'm going to make it quite brief and I will make sure it is well explanatory. The first thing which we are going to consider is accommodation, which is quite important. Now, the person specified and requested for productivity. The thing is that generally in Poland, you can still see some costs are kind of like similar to one another. It depends on where you go to and whom you get to meet and the kind of information which you have. So overall, although we can say like in Warsaw, accommodation is more expensive, in Katowice, in um, Krakow is still quite on the average side, in Rotwaz, in Gdansk, in Warsaw, we can say that the accommodation cost is quite expensive. Now, before when you're getting an accommodation, before you get one, there are several things for you to consider, which is going to determine the cost. Now, let's say at the minimum cost in which you can get for any accommodation, the minimum which you can get, you know, your accommodation with the bills and probably the Wi-Fi, if you're building house, and you know, the electricity and the disposal bills, that's the minimum which you should be expected is 650 PL. So, you can convert that to your country's currency. Also, another thing which we need to consider is if the cost of the bills is together with the accommodation with the house rent. So, so for, for some rents, they make it in a way that the accommodation, you know, the building is different from the bills. So the bills is dependent on, let's say, how much gas you use or electricity. Presently in Poland now, the electricity bill is high because electricity is it's more expensive. If you are someone versatile, you would know that now we have like climate change, there's a change from like non renewable cells to renewable source of energy. And you know, in Poland, here they make, make use of coal, so there's some kind of like conflict and crisis surrounding the power source. You understand? Though it's not really that bad. Now, the thing is that if your bills is different from your house rent, you should try to get an accommodation that uses gas as a way of eating the room. If you are using one that uses electricity, like that you just plug the eater and it's going to talk, then you are definitely going to pay more bills. But if you are paying the rent whereby everything is included, so it doesn't matter if you use it or not, then that is also good in such a way that you, if you are not using one, so you don't really care, you just use it like that. Yes, you understand. So the minimum which you could get is, let's say, 650 to 700, depending on the city, you understand? And then for Katowice specifically, I would say I've not really heard of many cheap house rent like that, it's kind of expensive. So I would say you should be budgeting 700 KLA above. Now depending on what you want, so people will say, oh, I want uh, three rooms apartment, five rooms apartment, how tall if it's on the first floor or the second floor, and how close it is to the city center. So that should also be considered. So I think that is quite explanatory. Another cost which we are going to consider is food, which is quite <laughs> important. 
which is very important. Definitely, you are going to eat food. And when I talk about food stocks, you know all its entails, including water, drinks, anything that goes into the mouth. Yes. Now, for myself, I budget like 100 pm per week. So, this is what I do have like a kind of two accounts, and I have one in which I'm saving the money and the week. So, in the beginning of the week, I just transfer 100 pm, and sometimes it remains, sometimes I finish spending it depending on what I have to buy. So, that depends on you. So, let's say for a month, you, you are paying, let's say, 700 pm for a and for food you're spending 100 pln per week it really depends i don't really eat much and it depends on the kind of meals that you eat because we are quite different but let's say certain sparrows i say 100 pln a week but those of you who say you spend more than that so it depends on you and it also depends on where you get your food stuff from if you are going to auction where they sell they sell in wholesale price then you are going to get cheap things but if you are going to like shaka you know all those uh, stores that are like close but it's rich people that go there yes <laughs> so if you are part of the category of rich people you can use see those places but there are some things like in shakas that are quite cheap so it depends on the grade, you know, you check the grade of what you are buying, if it's potato and onions, yeah, so if it's not the, if it's, there's, there's a way they package it, yes. so it depends on what you are buying, but let's just say 100 pm per week, which is 100 times 4, for you know, so that's 400 pm, plus the 700 pm, which is for accommodation, that is like 1000 100 pm. You understand? Now, another cost which we are going to consider is the transport cost. Now, when we talk about the transport cost, it is dependent on if you are going, probably if you are going to the university or if you are having like online classes. People that have online classes don't really spend much on transports like that. Unlike people that go. So this is, these are the ways in which it works. So you could just register for a semester. A semester, for example, my winter semester started like October, November, December, January to February. So I did a registration because my classes are like physical classes. So I have to do like almost every day in the week, yes, and I had to do a registration for a whole semester, and that was like 270 PLN, so there are different packages you could do for a whole semester, you could do for maybe just, there's a card in which you do that you just buy, and when you get into the trip, into the bus, then you just want the charm, then you just activate and deactivate, so if you are not really going out, much like that, you could use that one. But if you are going out frequently, you could just do the one for the for the semester and just make it a week. Or if you don't even go out at all, like there's a baby just online classes, probably maybe on Sunday they are going to church, then they just have to go out. You can just be buying to reduce to get which is like one point five million. So let's just say for a whole semester it's just like two fifty, so let's add it to my one one hundred million. And that is um, you know that is for like five months, so that is um, like 1350 like that in addition so if we cost it around five months you know it's quite cheap it's very small amount of money now let's not talk about the miscellaneous so, now if you have miscellaneous some people like to shop or maybe if you just do something like they'll say oh this thing is catchy i feel like buying it or if you want to buy maybe clothes or shoes then that depends on you but Averagely, if you don't want to purchase maybe in expensive stores, you can order on AliExpress. It's just that it takes like maybe probably a few weeks before it gets down here. So you can order on AliExpress, you can do online shopping if you feel like probably things are quite expensive in a lot of stores. Well, and then we also have stores that are affordable, like Brahma, Sensei, that they sell like quite affordable things at just normal prices. So it depends on you, it depends on what you are buying. So I think this is quite explanatory. If you have further comments or further questions, then you can drop it in the comment section. Now let's talk about the possibility of getting a job as a student. Now, this is dependent on exactly what you came to do in If you understand what I mean. 
So there are some people who just use God in the sense to come to God. So you will find your mindset to them. Why some people, they really want to study. Yes? So it depends on the category that you want. If it is that you came and you came for the sole purpose of work, it's very easy for you. You can get, you have many full time jobs which just give you, uh, you know, the job of uh, like the part time jobs. So that's where the challenge is now. Now, and then there are some full time jobs which are also quite flexible because they have some products who work like full time jobs and they are. They work from like 2 p.m. to like 10 p.m. You understand? So it depends on how your timetable is. For those having online classes, it is quite easy for them because there's a way they combine lectures and things together. And there are some words that you, it has to be like uh, you come to the office three times a week and you don't come like two times, kind of a thing like that. So if you are able to get this kind of jobs, it is you are very lucky. Yeah. But for part-time jobs, for those who really like want to study and concentrate and for example like myself, I cannot work full-time because of the nature of my classes, you know, it's more of like biological sciences, I to go to the lake, take sample, go to the lab and like, all this kind of thing. So it is not quite easy for me to work full-time and just sit and like, sometimes I have lectures like 6.30, yeah, so <laughs> it depends and for me, I think majorly for study, I want to focus. And the good thing is that, another thing is that if you pass very well, just something which I have to tell everyone, if you pass very well, they pay you money. I heard that the university pays you money if you have up to like, it, it depends by university, but something close to like 5.0, you pay like 700 pn in a month. So even if you are passing very well, if you concentrate on your study, I are doing like a part time work. Some people they sponsor their school fees. There's a way they do it here. Yeah. For example, I used to want to invest your Celestia and I was doing undergraduate and because it did very well with like top class, they sponsored like this uh, position for you like that. So it depends and the person is an international student from Africa, yeah, East Africa, yeah, to be So it depends on exactly what you want. But certain variables, all things being equal. If you work part time, if you work full time, your money is still quite reasonable, it's still what you can work on. So now let's talk for those who really like want to concentrate on study and also want to work for part-time. Yes. So we have the part-time jobs that we have. The first one that we have, which is quite easy and quite flexible, they are called under the category of like menial works. So when we talk about menial work, we also have different examples. So you could be working for let's say restaurants, most people work for like McDonald's, KFC, you know, like that. So the thing is that when you join them, you present your timetable and you can come some work. So after your classes, you can just go there from like let's say, depending on the hour, or maybe weekend, you want to do your work. So. And then when they pay you, your money should not be less than let's say 16 pm. So try to calculate the number of hours that you are going to work in a week and in a month, but you cannot get anything less than 1,500 You understand? You cannot get anything less than that. You get. So even if you are working like in McDonald's and KFC, your money is still almost like somebody working full time. You understand? So it now depends on you. So people do delivery work. So people do Uber work, like I've said before, like if you need to get like a car to start Uber work here, there's a way they do the contract and they connect it like that. So if you're coming from your country, it's better if you're able to get like international driver license. I, I think I've talked about it. Probably the male or the female, it depends. And you can just get like used cars at super prices here. Yeah. Okay. Some use bicycle to do like the Uber work, there's a way to pay them. Those are the quite flexible work, like and some do like factory work, let's say, working with uh, maybe arranging of clothes or shoes or those kind of work like that. So it depends. And the thing is that they will pay you your the, the amount you are getting is quite similar to somebody that is working full time, you understand? Now the money is not dependent because if you are like above twenty six you pay tax on your money, you understand? So also, in the transport cost, there was something I missed. Like if you are traveling from like train in between cities, if you are also below 
26 there's also discounts like they have reduced ticket but if you're like above 26 then you pass by the full ticket and we also have the weekend ticket for example if you're somebody and you want to get to like different cities within weekend let's say friday for example there was a time I, want, I was having a meeting at Wood and at the same time I wanted to travel to Poznan, bring my luggage to Poznan for Katowice. Um, I just got the weekend ticket and it was like uh, within 97 like, you know. So from Katowice I went to Wood, from Wood I went back to Katowice, then I took my load from Katowice to Poznan. So instead of paying like 50 something PLN go and come back to something PLN and now come back again, so I just used to weekend ticket but it's from like Friday to Sunday although most people don't know about it but like I'm telling you guys so if you get to enter Poland you could just ask more about it there's a app there's a way you register for it and all of that so you can even move around all Poland if you are for example going to the dance you want to like get to I have a friend like that like, she would just go move around the cities during the weekend like that so if you are somebody like that like you can get this kind of ticket so I just use it like that yeah so um probably now the for the part time now i think it's settled and then you can also work full time while studying too especially if your classes are online yeah it is quite convenient i will not deceive you but if your classes are physical classes and you're thinking of working full time you know you want to do it though but i wouldn't say there's something that is not possible but it will be really challenging but well, if you are like having online classes, it's still very easy for you to study full time. Or if you are somebody that did not come to study, you understand, well, you just want to change to work like that. So you could just look for full time work and you can use Glassdoor, you can use OMX, you can use Indeed, and you know, find jobs and apply. Just, you know, develop yourself. Like I said, there's some skills that you still need to. But they are quite flexible here. Yeah. If you understand English, then you can do. It's very easy, and if you know other languages, you are privileged with learning other languages, probably European languages. Good for you too, yeah. It makes you, you know, very unique. So I think it's quite good. And also for pattern jobs, we have like English teaching jobs. For example, me, myself, you know, I did like TESO, I got the certificate, I went to the training, and TESO is like you know, teaching English language speakers of other languages. Yeah, and I registered on the Turkey and a particular platform like that and you know, I just teach one hour you can get like 60 PLA for teaching and if you are also able to get air and you're able to get like English teaching schools also offer like part time offers to students. So it depends on you and it depends on your skills. So there are jobs, there are many jobs, yeah, because when you go online so many jobs, many jobs, many jobs. That. And even if you don't get like full time job, the office job which you have, there's, there's an option of working like part time. So I will tell you, like, there are still part time jobs. And the minimum you can get per hour for part time job is 19 PLN, depending on the work and if you have how much tax you pay. So different companies have how much they are paying. You understand? But I'm just trying to say, like, the minimum you should expect. So I think this is quite helpful and this is quite explanatory. If you also have questions regarding you know the possibility of getting jobs here in Poland, then you can just so, drop it in the comment section. And I must say, like even if you I wouldn't say one city is uh, uh, better than one city or another city is better than what might work for A might not work for B because you know when I was at uh, Katowice I was like oh this place is so dry what's happening but later when I moved to like Sosnoviet then I was at Bigota I moved to Sosnoviet and if, in fact my friend she got the job in the restaurant they were so nice to her and everything they didn't want her to leave and all like that so it was very nice and some people will still complain oh there's nothing in this place and some people are still getting jobs so it depends on you where you look the kind of connection you go to yeah also last year i went for an interview but because i was a student and you know like i'll be full time and everything i could not get a job or i passed like the interview and everything so it depends on you what you look for then one thing is also important so when you look for a job networking networking so you can go on linkedin look for probably somebody in the field or ask from your colleague 
for example, like we now, because the thing is that when they refer someone, you know, they also get paid for referring someone. So it's very classy, you know. So I think this is very explanatory. Mm -hmm. Yes. For further more questions and inquiries or clarification, thank you for for watching and until next time. Bye.